Hello. Good afternoon, children. Today, I think you are happy with your. Now see your tests are over, and again we are with the lessons here. Fair play lesson is already over for you. Lesson seven. Now we are here with lesson number nine, the desert animals. How do these desert animals survive in the hot sun, in the scorching sun, and how there are different insects, snakes, mongooses, and some small animals like rodents, various what, and camel also. This is what. we are going to learn today how do these animals live in the hot scorching sun how do they survive there that is what we are going to learn today now this lesson presents the lifestyle of animals in the desert and how they survive under very harsh and scorching sun and very harsh conditions this is what we are going to learn today now as we know deserts are the driest part of uh driest places on earth and sometimes go for months or even years without rain and how do the animals and insects reptiles survive in this harsh conditions right now so they have had to find different ways of coping with the harsh conditions for example gerbils these gerbils are small animals like rodents how do these animals live there you know they will live in cool underground burrows and during um day time they will live in the because it is very hot and they cannot survive in the hot sun so uh, during day time they will live in the underground burrows and at night they go on for searching food and there is a strange insects called darkling beetles darkling beetles Now these darkling beetles, what do they do? Do you know? They are very experts in catching the moisture on their legs, then lifting them into the air until the drops trickle down into. They lift their leg in the air, and that water which falls into their mouths, that they drink and they survive. Now. we think that the whole deserts are full of sand dunes but it's not like that deserts there are deserts which are rocky or pebbly and dotted with small bushes while others are spread one thing is there are 2 2300 kinds of snakes the ranging of their length it is 15 cm or 2 or more than 11 meters now as we know most snakes are harmless whereas very few are poisonous and they can kill a human being with just one bite or one kiss now most snakes lay eggs but there are many which give birth to their young ones they give birth to small babies some some lay eggs and in the dry rocky deserts of america lives a rather evil looking snake with a very bad reputation how does it kill you know its frightening rattle its body or its tail it rattles and it can be heard it will be heard till 3 30 meters away and it can strike 
with a lightning speed it will come slowly as if it, it without making sound it will come and with a lightning speed it will kill but the rattlesnake or rattler the sound which is made by it that's why it is called as rattlesnake as it sometimes called prefers see it always avoids people with its rattle sound it will make the people know that it is somewhere lying nearby but if human beings try to disturb it it will kill them now however if its warnings are ignored and it feels see when we walk on the grass the sound of it hears it through the vibration in the ground it can understand if a person walks near by the snake can feel the movement but if the same person were to shout it would not hear a thing when we sh- if we shout they cannot hear they can hear only the sound made by our legs when we walk in the grass now and it when it feels threatened it will coil ready to bite but the rattler itself cannot hear the no- noise of its own tail mates like most tail snakes it hears the vibrations as i told you now if a person living sorry it would hear it now rattle snakes are very common and widespread animals living right across the american continent from canada to argentina between these two places we can see these snakes what is the meaning of a predator and what do you mean by a prey predator is the animal which kills other small animals like mice then wolves rats chipmunks these all animals they kill and eat now rattle snakes kill their prey with venom prey means enemy predator means the snake which is going to kill uh, other animals they are called as predators and the animal which is killed by this predator is called as prey now few snakes see snakes have m- m- many snakes can swallow the unfortunate animals as a whole as a whole means they will simply swallow it they won't chew they will swallow few snakes have to eat more than once a week and some such as the larger pythons can survive for a year or more without eating pythons and other bigger snakes can uh, live on the earth without eating even for one year but there are some other snakes which can live or survive on the earth by eating after 15 days to 20 days they can survive without eating anything now mang- now ma- coming to mangoes when they go for hunting they hunt together they don't go alone they go they go for hunting together and they always keep a look out for dangerous uh snakes nearby now they poke their nose into holes overturn rocks with their paws and scratching the ground with their sharp claws they funny to look at these animals these mongooses they go together for hunting and they help their friends or their companions by see a common sight in many parts of africa they travel in groups of about 20 to forage for beetles these mangooses eat beetles millipedes and other small creatures now they like to hunt together keeping in touch whenever they go for uh, behind rocks or bushes by twittering when they become lonely somewhere in there from their group when they become alone or when they feel that they are lonely they will make a sound by twittering or calling by making different sounds and always on the lookout for danger hawks these mongooses look 
look for these dangerous animals or birds like hawks eagles and large snakes they warn one another with a special alarm call if they spot anything suspicious if they feel doubtful if they if they come to know that somebody some animals or some bigger birds like hawks or eagles are nearby somewhere they will give a twittering call they will make a sound which will make their friends to come together so that other animals or birds will not come and kill them now mongooses are famous for being able to kill snakes that we know snake and mongoose as we say this mongoose when they go to kill snakes the snakes will be killed and these mongooses will be saved they can save themselves their reactions are so fast that they can dodge themselves when the snake comes to his about their head they will simply they will go below and they continually make a new sense of themselves until after a while when the snakes get tired and the snakes get tired they quickly dive in for a kill suddenly they go and kill them until the snake is tired they will make them feel tired till then they will be saved then later they will kill these snakes now all the female mongooses have their kitten at about the same time at the same time many mother mongooses give birth in at the same time they are raised by the whole group in a den made inside an old termite mound see termite mounds are made by ants the houses which are made by ants and when they leave the houses and go somewhere these snakes these uh, snakes come inside oh, sorry these female mongooses came inside and made their house there with their small babies they will leave their safe when most of the adults are out looking for food one or two males stay behind to stand guard until the others return for the night till night two mongooses will stay with the other mother mongooses they will look after these mongooses whereas other male uh, mongooses go for hunting now another animal which lives in the desert is the camel now camels were first domesticated by people many thousands of years ago now camels usually live in small groups of up to 30 animals then later they, they drink water at a time some many liters of water at a time they will drink and they can go for a uh, trip with people for more than 2 months or 3 months they can live without eating and drinking camels have long shaggy winter coats to keep warm and shorter tidier coats in the summer long sh- shaggy coats they wear in winter season to keep warm and shorter tidier coats they will wear during this they have their uh, coats to keep warm and shorter tidier coats in the summer to keep cool <coughs> a thirsty camel can drink as much as 30 gallons of water that's about 500 full glasses and within 10 minutes they will drink it and normally however it gets all the moisture it needs from desert plants and can survive for up to 10 months without drinking water at a time they drink a lot of water and this will make the camel to go in the desert for nearly 5 to 10 months now there are two different kinds of camels called one with single hump and the other one other ones 
name is Bactrian camel, which has two humps. The one which has only one hump is called as dromedary, and camels which has two humps are called Bactrian camels. These humps help the animal to survive in the desert by acting as storage containers. Now, but they don't store water. See, but people wrongly uh, believe that they are full of fat. Understood? Now, but they don't store water as many people wrongly believe. People believe that their uh, humps are full of water, but no, they are full of fat. This fat will nourish the camel when food is scarce. Scarce means when there is no food for them to eat and when there is a drought in the desert, at that time, the food, what they have eaten earlier, they will use it as if they have nothing to eat for several days, their humps shrink as the fat is used up. The fat which is already stored, they will use this fat to eat when there is drought. There are many other ways in which camels are adapted to desert life. That is why camel is called as the ship of the desert and they can survive there for long, many months, for a very long time, they live without eating, drinking, without eating and drinking. Now, their mouths are so tough that even the sharp thorns cannot pierce through their mouth. Now, now we learnt about how many, see, document beetles, now snakes, 2,300 kinds of snakes, many give birth to small babies, whereas some snakes lay eggs. And mongooses, mongooses also kill snakes, it is there, these mongooses are the predators and snakes are the prey, prey, P-R-E-Y, prey means enemy. Predators means animals which eat other small animals, predators. Then we learnt about darkwing beetles which will uh, catch the water which falls. I mean the rain water they catch on their legs and they will keep it in the air and that water which falls into their mouths, these animals drink by uh, drink this water that drops whatever falls into their mouths they drink it and they survive now then some snakes are harmful and some are harmless harmful snakes and harmless snakes There are some snakes which kill the other small animals with their venom. Venom means poison. What do you mean by venom? That's why snakes which are harmful are called as venomous snakes. We know avoiders, venomous snakes. With this venom or with this poison, they kill other one hiss or one small bite is enough for a small animal or a human being to die on the spot. That's why we say snakes are very harmful, but some are harmless. Now in America, I said, there is a type of snakes which live there by rattling their tails and they, the rattling means that they want the people who are standing beside or walking beside to go away from them. They avoid the human beings. But if still the human beings, if they don't care and if they walk through these uh, snakes where they are landed, actually this snake 
comes and with one his we are no more so that's why we have to be very very careful <clears throat> now mongooses they like to hunt together i said they don't go single they call all the animals all these mongooses with a rattling sound or rattling sound not with a twisting sound or a tweeting sound and they will call the other uh, friends and they all together go for hunting when some go for hunting some mothers who have given birth to younger ones they will stay in the holes made by other uh, snakes or uh, ants or hmm? there they will stay with their babies looking after the babies and one or two male mongooses will guide them safeguard them there and till night these two male two or three male uh, mongooses will be with them safeguarding them when the other comes from hunting these two or three animals which were safeguarding them will go for hunting later now that is about the mongooses now there are two i told you there are two different kinds of camels which has one hump and camels with two humps camels which has one hump is called as dromedary camels and camels which has two humps are called as bactrian camels and the humps help these camels to survive in the desert by acting as storage containers but we people have wrongly mistakenly believed that these humps are full of fat no it is this fat nourishes the camel when food is scarce now if they have nothing to eat for several days several days means many days their humps shrink as the fat is used up hmm? actually people believe that this humps are full of water whatever water they drink this water helps them it is not any pipe system or anything inside it is full of fat this fat they will use for when there is scarcity of food in the desert now there are many ways in which camels are adapted these camels are adapted to that life they don't run away from there because that is the only place for them to live happily now their mouths see we have seen the camel's tongue is very stiff and big and thick you know these mouths are so tough that even the sharp thorn that they eat in the desert the cactus they eat them cactus is we won't say cactus is one cactus we will say for one plant cactus plant if it is more than one it is called as cacti c a c t i cacti or cacti these plants they eat and there are very bigger thorns on this cacti but this will not affect the tongue or the mouth of the camel because the tongue is very uh, what is it tough very tough and rough so that thorns will not pierce their mouth or their uh, jaws or anything like they are very happy eating these things now how do the snakes fight with the mongooses the reactions of mongooses are so fast that they can dodge each time dodging means moving to another place moving to their face they will move to one place to another place when the snake every time the snake strikes the mongoose will dodge now they continually make a nuisance of themselves the snake will think that now i can catch him no that is not possible by the time the snake comes to catch him thum, he will 
suddenly he will dodge to the other side till the snake is tired of uh, catching him the mongooses will never go to him and until after a while when the snake gets tired they quickly dive in for a kill and they will finished that is the end of the snake then this mongoose will lift it and take it to the place where it lives and it will put there for some time then it will relax and later it will kill it now how can we say that desert animals survive without water how can we say they have their own ways of living in the desert without water when the water comes at that time see when it rains i told you the darkling beetles is a type of beetles it raises its one arm when the water falls when the rain drops falls these rain drops they catch on their uh, one of their limbs or thumbs or whatever it is and they will put it into their mouth that will reach their mouth and they are happy now one more small question i'll ask you how do mongooses kill snakes they continually i told you they may continually make a nuisance of themselves until after a while when the snake gets tired they quickly dive in for a kill now can we say deserts are endless sand dunes no in the desert itself there are certain places where like we can find oases there people living there animals like cows and buffaloes live there they have trees and plants there during spring time you can see many of the trees flower with beautiful flowers there are certain places where there is water and water facility and all other things now it is said that snakes cannot hear but they can feel vibrations through the ground yes it is true because many of the snakes cannot hear now we have seen these snake charmers taking these snakes away to play with but when the pungi when they uh, play some music in pungi this is not heard by the snake the snake will be simply tossing its head it doesn't hear the sound but if we if we shout there also it cannot hear but when we walk the vibration of our legs it can hear i told you a thirsty camel can drink as much as 30 gallons of water 30 drums of water at a time that's about nearly 500 full glasses not 10 or 15 glasses see if we drink one gla one glass of water our stomach is filled but camel is not like that now however it gets all the moisture it needs from desert plants and can survive for 10 months without drinking any water at all that is a wonder you see now i will ask you how many kinds of snakes are there i said there are 2300 different kinds of snakes many are harmless and many are harmful these harmful snakes all are venomous snakes venomous snakes which are which has poison in them okay so now i told you this lesson presents the lifestyle of animals in the desert and how they survive under harsh conditions now my dear children it is a note for you to read this lesson and underline all small small sentences which you feel it is important and read the lesson read read and read so you will become smarter than ever okay thank you children